So, Rustin, I hear you uh, you got to officiate your first wedding. I did. How cool is that? Pretty cool. How nervous were you? Married two dudes. Pretty nervous. No, <laughs> no, no, definitely not. <laughs> Nope. Married a very girly girl and a very manly man. Like <laughs> <laughs> so you were, were you nervous? Two dudes. Were you yeah, nervous? I was actually really nervous for the first one. Yeah, I, I did back to back. My cousin and Billy yeah. one weekend. The uh -huh. very next weekend it was my sister and her fiance. Oh, really? So you've done two already? Well, how about that? It was so the second one wasn't as bad as the first one. The second one was <laughs> you were you were worried about screwing up in front of all those he people. Was, he was drunk yeah. as hell on the second one. I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, kiss or something, man. You're done. <laughs> yeah. No, I more so, you know, just people like, you know, I'm a people pleaser, I guess you could say. So uh huh. Yeah. So you once everybody was like, "Oh, you're so good," on the first one, I was like, oh, "Okay, well, I got this." Mm hmm. Yeah, I heard about it. I heard you did really good. Uh. They uh they praised Seth. What are you doing? They don't look right. Who is they? Jade. Oh she. Oh that's right. She was. She there. was there. Didn't they they work together or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hazel told him all about it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. They uh they get confused for each other all the time. <laughs> it's not confusing at all. Uh, Jade and Jada. Good. I mean, and they're both about this big and both brunette. That this is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they uh. I forgot all about them getting married. Mm -hmm. They got married last two weeks ago. Weekend, two weekends. Two weekends. Ago. Yeah. Oh, it was great. It was a great wedding all the way around. Beautiful. So. so I thought it was pretty cool though. Uh, Jay was like, Rustin married him. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Rustin is the only person in this room that has ever married somebody. Seth is usually the person that's a jack of all trades. No, I, I married somebody. I got a wife. See, <laughs> <laughs> I wondered how long that would take. Yeah, I should have. I should have planned on that. Yeah, yeah, I did not know. No, you didn't. Podcast. We, we skipped a couple of weeks. I was going to say we we've missed a couple of weeks, and uh, most of it was because we were lazy. But second part uh, was I was not here. Yeah. And oh, I third part was we had no time. Very busy. Yeah. Yeah, I was being sarcastic. Well, that and Rustin was not able to come. Yeah, he had to like marry people. Oh. <laughs> he, he, he had to. He had to officiate it. He didn't marry yeah, a bunch of people. I, 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 oh, this, uh, I didn't know if this was like sister wives or something. <laughs> oh wow! Whoa. This isn't Utah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now, you, now you're starting to sound like Alamo. Yeah, right. He was hung up on that Mormon stuff. <sighs> Because of Alec and Chase being there, you know, I don't actually know a Mormon though that has more than one wife. I don't. Most either. don't. Most don't. I can go into detail on that, but we won't. It's kind of like most Christians don't handle snakes, but unless you're from Tennessee. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I this is going nowhere very fast. Yes. Oh. Mm. Hey, welcome I think we're back still to the podcast where we make terrible jokes. Yeah. And we yes. haven't talked about trucks yet. <laughs> yeah, where, where we talk about trucks and make terrible jokes. So, yeah, I uh, we were pretty busy. I don't even remember what it was before I left. It was like we had just got back from LST and we had been gone one whole day and had like. Oh. Yeah. And we had to catch up on. How was that, by the way? It was good. It's good. It was really good. You should have watched the podcast. Oh, well, I saw some really good pictures. Really nice pictures of mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's always a pretty good time. Oh yeah. There's what like twenty five hundred trucks, cars, whatever mm -hmm. that comes to that event. It gets capped off at like twenty five hundred. Yeah, and it fills up in like a month or less. Yeah, and they it, cap it off in in December. The show is in February. And then they have the parking lot show for the vehicles that can't get in the show that are out in the parking lot because yeah. it's show vehicles that just can't get in. There People goes are like, that, uh, dang, that, I missed it. Well, I'll just drive up in the parking lot. And there'll be, there'll be 200, 300 show cars in the parking lot. Wow. There, uh, there, there are people that register like their whole collection and bring them in. They have them, they hire like a, they hire like a transport truck and have them hauled on a, like a transport semi, like eight or six or eight of them. Wow. Well, we're talking about David right now. Yes. That's who did that, though, last time. Yeah, he did yeah. that this time. Yeah. 
I mean, he owns a chain of jewelry stores, so I guess he can. He can do whatever he wants, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm excited to... I thought it was cool that he brought the Lightning, even though it's a total turd right now. He did bring the Lightning. He was driving it, too. Yeah, I know. He drove it around. So the Lightning and turd, they, they, those two things don't go together? Um, well, so uh, Lightnings are... Uh, are you, you know what a Lightning is? No. Okay, so the Lightning was... Uh, a special a specialty package. Special vehicle team, SBT. Yeah, SBT stands for specialty vehicle team. It was a special package that you could order, um, I guess, up until it, the, like 03. Uh, was that the last? Was that the last? Well, they were, uh, they were from 93 to 96, and then they quit, and I think it's from yeah. like 2000 to 2002. Anyway, so the F-150, you could buy, like, it was like the sport truck. It was to compete with like the, the, SS. the SS-454 454 SS. truck. And uh, what was the one that Dodge had? The They had the little red wagon. They had No, that was way back then. I don't know what they had in the, did they have anything in the 90s? They had that SV, they had that, uh, not SVT. Um, they had an SRT, but that was in the it. 2000s. No, they had something in, uh, in the 90s too. But it, it yeah, it obviously it wasn't important. We don't know what it is. Oh, that's going to hurt. I mean, it's a dodge, so <laughs> it's not really important, period. Uh, so what it is, it was like a, 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 and it was not all that special, really. Uh, it's a, an no, appearance package and a slightly improved suspension and motor. Oh, yeah, the had, head just went boom. <laughs> They They're had, cool, don't get me wrong, but... They had frame stiffeners. They had bigger sway bars. They had a lowered suspension, like an inch and a half lower than they, a they had factory a, F-150. Their their rear end was a custom rear end. It had fins and stuff uh, cast into it for mm-hmm. cooling on the rear end. I know that much. They had ra- racing seats, which is like super nice seats. I love those seats, but they actually had like bolsters that come out. and all. Yeah. Like, and then the seats had, are my favorite part of a Lightning. There's, a, there's a special... Um, intake that's on those trucks too yeah. they were they were the fastest truck of the day basically yeah they were higher horsepower they were better handling they were they were meant to be like a fast street truck or they, whatever they, they were, were the they, raptor of that day uh sort well of. raptor's sort like an off-road truck yeah. this is a little sport truck same, yeah. same idea but not quite the same just different yeah same yeah. idea but different yeah. uh fast versus off-road capable yeah, right. and it was it was faster than the 454 and then whatever the hell Dodge had, and so. and to be honest, none of them were really that, that fast. fast. Yeah, they yeah. weren't. Like they were fast for the day. Like you go drive one now, you'd be like, oh, it's peppy, but then you get in a, a freaking Corolla and it's faster. Yeah, yeah. you know. So uh, so they had like a special appearance package where they had like paint to match grill and bezels and paint to match bumpers and a, a lower air dam, and lower air dam, and then badging that said lightning on it, stuff like that. Anyway. So this thing is kind of roached out, though the one that he's got. It doesn't look bad. I think it just it's mostly because it's completely faded pink. I was gonna say because it's pink. Yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't even quite pink. It was just chalky paint. It was a dull on the thing. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was very dull. It's just like the one I had, like identical to the one I had. Yeah, less rust. Yeah. Well, mine's rustier than his was. I'm pretty sure. I don't know that his even has rust. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, less rust. Yeah, yeah. less rust. Yeah, so he bought it and he's like stripping it down and doing a mild build on it. I think he said his budget was like hundred grand or something like that. Mild, I don't. Yeah, yeah mild build. Yeah. If you saw some of his other stuff, you'd understand why uh, why it's mild. Yeah, like it's a uh, some of the other stuff he's got is is pretty pretty incredible. Very awesome. Um, Super nice guy too. Yeah, but, but that dude. that just goes to show you how many people are into OBS, OBS trucks. trucks. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I had a conversation today with with Lenny about them and about the number of seven, three injectors that DDP still builds for seven, three trucks. Mm-hmm. I mean, OBS seven, three, whatever. You well, know, I mean, industrial, what are there like 10 injector manufacturers at this point that are making injectors for them? Some of them are, that's all they do is make injectors. Yeah. Uh, and they're making a, a ton of them. Mm-hmm. So Seth, Seth just got some from industrial. I just got some from full force. Mm-hmm. So those industrials are pretty spiffy. They were instead of industrial injectors. Um. So yeah, he uh he brought that lightning, and it was it's not a show vehicle. I I think he brought it as his runaround, which yeah. is cool well, because well, it's like a future a future build. Well, that and I like, use that word lightly because build is is so blown out of proportion. Oh, but he he oh. legitimately does have builds. Well, yeah. so it's not just an event with. A, just seven threes. There's also oh yeah, no, it's, seven threes are the exception. They're kind of yeah. Ish, we're, really. we're like the oddball group that mm-hmm. shows up. 
<laughs> Oddball is right. Alamo. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we have some of the most stock basic stuff there. I think some of that stuff there is some pretty exceptional. They, they had a 2021 Escalade there that was bodied that uh, I think they said 70 grand to build it. It's 100, 110, 115 grand to buy Escalade. Yeah. And they put $70,000 into it to body it, put it on 30s. It's it crazy. insane. And, they, it, and they've been released, like, as of LSD, they had been released like two months. So put it on it. 30s? 30s. 30s. It's on 30s. Land bodies. It's incredible. Like door on the ground. The work done to that thing was incredible. Fat How do you even and do to think they're out of Oklahoma. Like I didn't Fat think anything fabs, great, baby. Uh, great was in Oklahoma. There's I think they're it's pro- hurt lots of people's fields. Yeah. I think what they're probably one of the best builders out right now. <laughs> oh yeah, they're by far the best. <laughs> best thing to come out of Oklahoma is I-35. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> they're in what, Choctaw? Ah, uh, you're putting on the spot there. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> what's the what's the company? And they're uh, Fat Fabs. Is that one of those that are on TV? Uh, uh, no, they, they. I think they've been approached, and I think they told them uh, no. Because that's usually what ha- what happens is is once they become once they're a TV shop, then their quality goes to trash because the TV wants crew, them to. Yeah, they they dictate what you do and what you yeah. don't do. Can we see Rustin in that too? Yeah. Good. Trying to get Rustin and his hey, Jesus Rustin. hair on. Uh, he was on the last. This one Jesus hair is getting cut off Wednesday. No, uh, what? He, he was done with the weddings. Are you getting a uh, a normal haircut? Absolutely. Are you going to get a mullet? No, God no. Do a mohawk? No. Yes. Why are? Why, wait, 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 wait. Why are you cutting it off? Because it's annoying. It's, it's hard. It's to do. I feel like you're going to lose your. Strength wait a minute. Something. Wait a minute. This whole you you said you did this whole hair thing because you were investing the money in Bitcoin and you were lazy and now you're telling me that you're going to stop it? You're, you're going to take a pair of scissors and cut it off and it's going to how, be like, how much money can you legitimately invest if you uh, from haircut money? Oh, I mean, I mean, $20 a lot. haircut. 20 bucks every Is that how much it costs so, nowadays? Yeah. If Daniel you don't trim your beard too and I'm lazy so I haven't trimmed my beard. But I mean, Daniel cuts my hair. She just cut my hair yesterday. The, looks good. Thank you. Tell her she did a good job. I will. Um, yeah, I, I never really invested haircut money into Bitcoin. You, you never invested anything in it. It was lies. Yeah, actually, you lied to you us. You lied. No, I never actually wow. said that. Insider lied. trading. I never actually said that. <laughs> but I have invested money into Bitcoin, so I guess you could say that the money I'm saving from haircuts. I mean, that's, that's that what you said you were from. doing the last time we had you on this podcast. Right. If we find out you're lying to us, we're going to have to discuss things what are we going to discuss i don't know <laughs> how much off, money you have in bitcoin kicking me off the show <laughs> <laughs> no we can't do that gonna be like chris hogan on dave ramsey he's canceled do what oh yeah he got canceled babe really oh, chris yeah. hogan oh yeah for what sure. happened uh he had they an extramarital on- affair with another person on the dave ramsey oh, team dang. They dave ramsey said no 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 I literally, like two weeks ago, just saw a show with him on it. Uh-huh. Uh, March, Excuse me? March, March the 10th, he made a 50-second uh, YouTube video that says, Hey, guys, I'm no longer part of the Dave Ramsey team due to some uh, due to some personal decisions that I made that do not line up with their core values. So it's been great with y'all. See you later. <laughs> That's it. Like, yo. And how did you find this out? Uh, Cole Hadley. I like Chris Hogan, too. Dude was I pretty wise. I couldn't stand him. I'm with you. I couldn't stand really? him. I liked him. I, I never, I liked I never him. listened to him because I couldn't stand his voice. See, yeah, every time he would, to him. every time he'd be a guest on the show, I'd turn it off. <laughs> Me too. I couldn't stand nah, him. Nah, that's. Uh, I don't like his personality. That's well, Ken Coleman. Can't well, stand no, him. I love Ken Coleman. I, I like, I like Ken Coleman too. I don't like uh, the guy they have for like John the youth. Deloney. The, Dr. John Deloney. No, no, no. The uh, the the younger. T- uh, oh, uh, Anthony O'Neill. Anthony O'Neill. I don't. Really well. The the thing with Anthony O'Neill though is he's mostly for like college well, age. I was gonna kids say it's not like, really a subject not a matter for me either. I guess I've so. never really listened to much of his stuff. He's the guy that does the debt free degree <laughs> stuff where you like can go to college for free, and he tells you how to go to college for free. So who was this other person? Was it uh, a named person? And I didn't find anything. I read a, a short little article that he had cheated on his wife in like 2019, and part of his deal Ooh. to get back with Ramsey was. 
they had to uh, reconcile him and his wife had to reconcile on a bunch of stuff. And his wife was like, eh, no, thanks. So got to go. That's some stuff right there, man. Sure enough. Yeah. Colt was telling me about it. He was like, hey, man, he's gone. See, watch. Boop. Damn. OK, then. Dave Ramsey said, boop. Well, maybe he, he, even in his books, he <clears throat> says that um, uh, that if if something like that happens, you're immediately fired. Well, that is an immediate termination. Apparently, too, he has a, a lawsuit pending because one of the girls that worked on the staff uh, got pregnant and wasn't married. Oh, got to go too. Hmm. And they fired her because she got pregnant out of wedlock. Hmm. I don't know how that's going to go over. I think I he's mean, got enough money to tie her up in litigation longer than uh, uh-huh. than even if she it, it, even if she could win. She can't get anything because they'll just tie her up in litigation, which is exactly what I would do. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it's in the contract, it's in the contract. True. But you know how, like... <clears throat> no, oh, him, it was in the contract. Oh, I'm sure it was. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure it was. There's all kinds of stuff in the he, contract. He you sticks very, to, very true to his uh, his convictions. I'm yeah, sure there's was, something in there, like, if you don't work. jump around on one leg and cluck like a chicken, you can't work here. And then if you don't... Well, I'd be screwed because I can't jump around on one leg. <laughs> <laughs> you did it to Note himself. Note Write that in contract next time. <laughs> <laughs> he did it to himself this time. Yeah. Damn. I didn't even have to say anything. I know. Oh, I told Rustin, you missed it the other day. So oh we, were, we were going to interview this guy. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> oh my oh. God, yes. Oh, so, <laughs> This is so bad. So bad. Oh, so we've got we've got uh, some Indeed uh, and some whatever the things are. I don't know. I'm Job not. applications on <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Monster. I posted, yeah. I posted a job posting for CP Addict on Indeed. He did that thing because I don't know what that is. But anyway, yeah. and I didn't even know people looked at those things. But anyway, so we get this, and this is what I get for letting him do that. So we get this guy, and I will oh. let, leave him nameless because anyway, he <laughs> he's 25. He thinks he's hot stuff. Thinks that, uh, that he deserves all these things and can dictate what he's going to do and what he's not going to do. So damn millennial. It, <laughs> so he um he it's very his his uh, application or his resume is very even very conceited. It's it's funny. Anyway, so uh, between Seth and Paul, they came up with this plan. <laughs> so, Mostly Paul. <laughs> so so he says that he'll work circles around any of our other employees that we have, and so it's like oh bet. Bet disabled guy going to beat him up. <laughs> and I said, when he comes in for an interview, you got to stand up and go, I'm in name Seth. I'm going to interview you and then start walking towards you, dragging your foot. And be- <laughs> Seth is like, can I please do this? Did he do it? No. I don't know. I wasn't there. I was. I was- oh. on the phone. I- he was hung up on the phone. The guy showed up in basketball shorts and orange uh, tennis shoes. And a wrinkly shirt, and commenced to tell him what he was and wasn't going to do, and how much money he had to have, and all this other stuff. And yeah, I, I need to I need to do the sales job because I want to sit at my desk all day. Yeah, I don't know, want to. Because I'm twenty, right. whatever he was, but we got the uh, body of a forty year old. <laughs> and Leslie was like, Leslie said, "Yep, this interview's over. Thank you. Have a nice day." Yeah. What you got against 40 year olds? <laughs> <laughs> That's when he knew that he had. <laughs> Yeah, there's just some things you don't say to women. Yeah. Well, there's just some things you don't say at a job interview. And it, yeah, like, well, there are certain ways that you show up to job and interviews or, as well. Yeah, and or do. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't say anything he said at a job interview. <sighs> it was great, though. Like, Does he watch it, the podcast? I hope he does, and I hope he sees this, because <laughs> I don't give a shit. Oh, my gosh. He ain't getting a job, and I ain't got to worry about it. You know why? Because I ain't going to get fired. Cancel! Wow. Cancel! Can't cancel me. I pu- I produce this shit. It's like Tom. It's like What's Tom in the McDonald. That's like that Tom McDonald rapper. Uh huh. He's like real controversial. Blah blah blah. And he 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 put out a thing. He's like, I'm not worried about it. I'm self produced. They can't cancel me. They can't mm-hmm. do anything. Mm hmm. Well, you see what happens when they try to cancel some people like Morgan Wallen. He's been on the top ten chart for like ten weeks in a row now. <laughs> I don't know what they got against Andrew. To the moon. Yeah, Andrew. <laughs> oh. But, uh, what started the whole canceling thing? 
We started talking about Chris Hogan. What brought that up? Uh, yep. I don't uh, remember. There was something right before that I had a question. Yeah, about. something about I'm not taking notes today. Unfortunately, you should have been taking notes. I don't, I don't know. know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's something to do with producing the show and and cutting something out and talking about him getting cut. I don't know. We can rewind it and look at it later. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. The sure camera does. knows all. I'm sure, that doesn't do us any good right now, though. No, it doesn't. But no, he, <clears throat> no. he he definitely got canceled. Like that's canceled, well, he canceled. he kind of canceled himself. Yeah, well. you can't really say that he got can because that's just like I mean he knew it was so so. First of all, like it doesn't hurt my feelings none because he was my least favorite character in the TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Percy, I think you mean Ramsey personality. That thing. Yes. yes. He, he likes Bugs Bunny more. Mm. Yes. But definitely. they try I to like cancel him too. more than I like him. Yeah, they're trying to cancel all them too. Yeah, well. I ju- Daniel just uh, sent me a thing. Nike's uh, suing Little Nass or whatever his name is. Well, yeah, because of the backlash they got, they knew they knew good and well that right? was going to happen. I guess I'm out the loop on that. And Little made, Ross is uh, is the Old Town Road guy, you know the Old no. Town Old Town Road that the the rapper that made the song with uh oh that real terrible Billy, 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 Billy Ray Bubba yeah, Cyrus Old Town Road. yeah don't yeah. don't do that again yeah. <laughs> anyway so I don't he, to shit music, he's so. uh, he's made a uh, a very satanic um, uh, music you. music video and. He partnered with uh, some production company or whatever, and Nike, and the Nike Air Max, I think it is. They uh, they modified them uh, to be a Satan worshiping shoe. And apparently, it has human blood in it and everything. Like that's uh, not conspiracy. That's like that's straight, a legit. Like thing. it has like yeah, like a Bible verse on it that talks about when Satan fell from heaven. Uh-huh. Like a, I think it was in Matthew. What the maybe? hell is Luke? wrong with people? Luke, yeah, yeah it's it was Luke. Luke. Talking Luke, about when yeah. Satan yeah. fell from heaven. And um, and uh, it's got uh, it's got Satan on it, and uh, and they're making six hundred and sixty six of them. Uh, they're numbered, and um, like they've got human blood in them, and a bunch of other stuff like that. Nike's making these now. No, they're they're a Nike shoe, and supposedly Nike has come out and said that uh, that. They weren't. Involved. They weren't. They weren't aware of it. They weren't involved in it. Um, that he was. He was modifying their shoe to be that way. Now that's possible, but I can't hardly see how they got this signature series shoe that's coming out. That's got Nike's name all over it. Nike doesn't know anything about it. Yeah. I mean, you'd think you'd know about a shoe that was coming to the market that was going to have human blood in it. I mean, unless they like just went and bought a ton of them and then took it to this well, third party. Well, 666 of them. Well, yeah, and then they took it to this third party. And they're like a $1,000 a pair. Anyway, I don't know, but you'd yeah. think when you were par- uh, partnering with some major rapper and all this other stuff, anyway, I don't know. I, it's it's hard to speculate in today's world, but that's not that's not a conspiracy theory. That's not no, speculation. That is a straight up thing that's happening right at, now. At yeah. the same time, though, I mean, if you look at that, I mean, that's a... Freaking marketing ploy if I ever seen one. No, it's exactly what it is. So all the Christian like yeah. leaders and stuff that follow, like they went, you can imagine, mm-hmm. over it. Well, I mean, it, well, it's like it's like when they signed Kaepernick. I mean, they did that as a marketing ploy too, and it worked. I mean, everybody was like, Ooh, Nike, 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 Nike. And there's I mean, we're still talking about it. Well, them. it's a little NOS. It's it's him trying yeah. to be relevant put himself himself out. Out. so yeah, yeah. It, what he's doing is leveraging these companies to make himself because right after he posted that he posted another one today um and it was like a jesus shoe that <laughs> what chick-fil-a said um chick-fil-a slogan or whatever and he was Ooh, like he really want to get i've serious. had this planned out long ago like you think y'all aren't gonna win over me or whatever some crazy stuff basically it's like he's literally playing with people's head just to get his name at the top of everybody's top. Well, I mean, that's, that's the, that's the whole culture anymore though, is, is doing that. How to be the most extreme. Yeah. Yep. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just, just do something that's like crazy and look at me and that gets you attention. I mean, yeah, but it's, it's pretty disgusting to think that, uh, that that's what our society has boiled down to. I mean, have you mm-hmm. seen our president? Let's not get started on that. <laughs> He's, this is Come what he on, said. Man. Kamala or Biden? Oh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that was real though. No, it's real. Little that, Na- on his Twitter. It's on Little Nas's Twitter. We have decided to drop these to even the score. Dang. Chick fil A shoes. Dang, y'all happy now? It's basically, my pleasure is the quote on the back of it Chick fil A, John 316. 
Uh, yeah. So what he did is, I think, out. I think what that's more or less doing to me, that's trying to save face. Yeah, I mean, virtue signaling. They're, the the Satan shoes or whatever, uh, they're to go in companionship with his music video where he's given the devil a lap dance. Right. Not kidding. Now, uh, isn't he the same guy that they had on the halftime show? That I have no idea. No. 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 Because no. wasn't that. No, Wasn't no. that like a thing that had like Satan Flash in the that was a, that too? was a, yeah, but that was a different rapper. Oh, was it? I thought yeah. it was the same. No, I, but apparently Satan is just a very very popular thing with well, most people nowadays. He is the prince of the air. You know, it's true. according to the Bible. But that was um, well, I can't even think of his name. I actually, the weekend. That's who that was. Yeah, I don't. You're right. I don't care about uh, professional football. I don't care about halftime nope. shoe shows, and nope. I don't care about Satan shoes. Nope. Um, he okay. cares about. OBS trucks. And making bad jokes. And investing. And investing. In Bitcoin. I do not invest in Bitcoin. Rustin is the only person in this room I would wager that has uh, got Bitcoin. Let's see what it's doing today. Do you have some Bitcoin? Mm-hmm. Since, since when? I've always had a little bit of it. Look at you go. Uh, he's uh, he's a it's, about 300. It's, it's sucking thousand. today. Well, today, yeah. They're so. trying to retank it. Why? Because, Why? I don't know. Well, but, I thought, I th- and here we go with Elon Musk. Here we go. It's, it's <laughs> like this. But I, I thought he said the other day that you could start buying Tesla with Bitcoin and you that can. made it go <laughs> you again. Can. Yeah, it's it's since that. As of right now, you can go and order a Tesla with Bitcoin. Uh-huh. Right, right. So but that made it go up. So what's making it tank? So since that happened, it was like 30 grand at that point. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What's it at now? 56. Yeah. the la- I saw it at like 60. And so it's gone down a little bit. Yeah. It's just kind of the market, just like 60, gold and silver. 60,000? Yeah. 60 Holy grand. Mess. So, and, and what's crazy, crazy went the, the guy that originally paid like 500 Bitcoin for a pizza <clears throat> back oh, when it was, Jesus. back when it was nothing. Think about that. 500 Bitcoin for a pizza. What he's, if you had that? He's wanting to regurgitate that pizza really badly right now. I bet. 500 yeah. Bitcoin for a pizza. But, but that's that's the thing with stuff like the stock market and whatnot. I mean, <laughs> he, he could have get burned. Well, I mean, he could have paid 500 Bitcoin for a pizza and that would have been the highest it's ever worth. Yep, you, yeah. you, you don't know at the time oh, that it's no. going to be. I mean, it's like the whole Dogecoin thing. So, so since, since we're since we're on this uh, this whole Bitcoin thing, please tell there me y'all have seen the uh, the guys in West Texas that have converted the natural gas flares into fuel for natural gas gensets. And they're running uh, Bitcoin mining computers out of sea cans off of natural gas. They're converting natural gas into Bitcoin in an adverse way. So how awesome is that? I had seen that, but I didn't know they were using the excess burn off. Yeah, so they're using the flare stacks. They're using the flare stacks natural gas. So what they're doing is like uh, when you've got crude oil uh, wells, they, they burn off the natural gas. Even though natural gas is a valuable thing, it's not valuable enough to try to pump off to the excess. Yeah. yeah. So they just have flare stacks, and flare stacks burn off the excess, and that's what you see out in West Texas on right. flares. So they've there's actually a video where he's where he's filming and he's filming the flare stack, and as they're cranking this, it's a it's like a hundred and eighty thousand kW or hundred and eighty kW um, uh, caterpillar genset. It's a it's a massive, massive. genset. Um, and uh, you can see him filming, and you can hear him cranking that genset in the background. As it fires up, the stack goes out, and he pans over, and you see this thing. It's like the size of this room. Is this genset sitting there running? And uh, and then he pans over, and there's a forty. There's two forty foot sea cans, and they walk towards the sea cans and walk in. And there's just walls and of pa- panels of uh, of computers with little fans running, all a bunch of red wires and everything running out of them. And it's uh, uh, Bitcoin mining computers that are being run off of uh, got natural gas. This. It's amazing. Because all the liberals' heads just went, because Bitcoin is supposed to be like so eco friendly and supposed to be all this other jump, mumbo jumbo BS. And they're, and these guys in West Texas are out there like destroying everybody's minds with uh, running fossil fuels, like literally, like immediately converting a fossil fuel into Bitcoin. It's not like, you know, the they're not selling the, it. Yeah, it's, it, it's not the it's not the clean way of doing it where you where you fire up a coal fired power plant, you feed the power grid, and then the power grid feeds your house, and you run a mining computer that way, and then you feel like you're being all clean and, and stuff. 
These guys are literally doing it right on. It's on an oil site in the middle of West Texas. It's not even in town. It's like on a site in the middle. Like you, as he's panning around, it's desert. Like they're in the middle of nowhere. That is, it's it's amazing. amazing. And so this guy apparently got this uh, got a bunch of private investors, and he uh, they invested and he bought all the equipment. And it's a it's a company. And I, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. But that's uh, that's exactly what it is. That's all the business does. They use the excess natural gas. On oil well sites <clears throat> to mine Bitcoin. How amazing is that? What a genius! Yeah, dude, dude's brilliant. He's gonna he's gonna get so rich, right? <laughs> I guess the the best thing, the way to get into Bitcoin is to actually be the one who finds it. Uh, it's hard now. It used to be much easier to mine, but as this. As the algorithm gets more complicated, as the algorithm gets more complicated and the mining market gets saturated and like the fact that you can't hardly buy PC equipment right now mm-hmm. uh, or anything. <laughs> right. It's well, on the Suez Canal. <laughs> well, like every bit of it, all like, the things like PC hardware, like everybody's complaining the new the new 30 series RTX cards, graphics cards. They suck. What? They suck. No, they don't. Absolutely. You just can't buy one right now. <laughs> Chick fight. Chick fight. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> but not only can you not get anything because they're not hardly producing anything, but all the miners have bought up all the graphics card because they're really good for mining. It's not an M1, an M1 chip made by Apple. It sucks. Oh. No. Okay. Apple are going to make these, these in-house processors that are going to destroy these big mega companies that that's all they do is make mm, processors. Mm-hmm. Just watch. Mark my words. We're all okay. going to remember this this podcast. Okay. So mm-hmm. buy that uh, buy that fruit company as uh, as Forrest Gump said, mm-hmm. and invest in that fruit company. I mean, yep. all the all the richest investors in the world invest in it. Yeah. Technically, if, uh, if you reason. wanted to like get real technical with it, I'm kind of investing in it because I've got mutual funds that own it. Does that count? Yeah, it counts. Okay. Charger sold separately. Here's a processor. Oh, computer sold separately. Mm, that's actually how your companies do it. Oh, yeah, because I can custom tailor my, mine. My companies I want. send the processor in the computer. Yeah, but not the charger. <laughs> yeah, they do. Or, the, the or they, um, Apple. Here's <laughs> here's a five thousand dollar monitor. Oh, you want to stand with it? Oh, that's separate. That's another thousand dollars. That's because they know for some, a stand. That's because they know that some people might want to mount their their monitors on the wall. So give freaking give me the stand with it. And if I don't like it, I can take it off. <laughs> the engineering that goes into that stand is more engineering and R&D that goes into these GTX processors. That, that is some crap. bull crap and you know it. No, I'm just sitting not. here thinking I bought several trucks for less than what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. And my too. truck's got a computer <laughs> in it. <laughs> it's it's about the amount of power that these GTX it's, processors have. The, the computer in those trucks is big and dumb and stupid and do whatever you tell it to. Look like at a Windows computer. Know. Oh, wow. Big, massive, uh-huh. Uh-huh. dumb, fried motherboards. Now I, I do think we're going to see uh, see Rustin put in a choke hole here. <laughs> right? They're going to leg now. wrestle. Oh, gosh. It's all fun and games. Mm-hmm. You do what you do, I'll do what I do. <laughs> anyway, since <laughs> nobody that listens to this podcast knew a bit of what y'all were talking about. This will all get in. And you yeah, didn't so. and you didn't bother to uh, to explain any of that. Back to real information. Wow. Wow. So this is our, why it's why we pay y'all the big bucks. Well, I yeah. I really want to know about this trip. Yeah, so the whole reason why we skipped a month. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> basically so um we we uh we missed we missed basically the last time because i was gone so i had the bright idea of i've been looking for this specific truck for like six years now um i bought a 71 f-250 ranger six years ranger and uh but i want a really really nice one why is this table creaky? Because you keep rubbing cramming on, on it. it. Cramming on it. Okay. Um, but I wanted one in boxwood green. So that's the that's the important part to me. Like I wanted the specific color. He's extra in case you haven't figured it out. Sort of. Um, 
So I finally found this truck through a bunch of searches and a bunch of looking and things. And that wasn't me. Don't break the table. Um, anyway. Work it, work it, work it. It's so difficult sometimes. It's um, like hurting cats. I'm telling you. But uh, so, so once I found the truck, I was going to have the truck transported. And the, the owner of the truck was like, you know, with a little bit of a little bit of work, you know, just kind of checking it out, making sure that we're good to go. I th this truck will make it to Texas. You can drive it. I'm like, that sounds like a really terrible idea. Let's do it. I'm in. <laughs> so um, it's a 71 F-250 with 32,000 miles on it. Um, and had it's 32, had 32,000 was a 71 F-250 with 32,000 miles. It had now has like 36,000 on it. Um, I, uh, I made the deal on the truck. He, the, the owner was nice enough to carry it to, uh, the mechanic shop and they went through it. We did uh, roughly two grand worth of work to it. Just kind of sprucing it up. We did brakes on it, all, a bunch of other stuff like that. Mostly because I was just a little over cautious. Um, because of mountain passes and things like this, a 50 year old truck. He must be really strong if he carried it. He did on his shoulder, one handed, strong guy. I mean, trucks back then were considerably smaller, but they were made out of real steel. It's considerably heavier than so, your small truck. Considerably heavier. <laughs> <laughs> Don't comment. But um, so he, uh, <laughs> we got it all in shape. I uh, bought an airline ticket. Uh, I convinced my buddy Corey to pay for his own way to go. <laughs> what? You mean he? Had oh yeah, did I didn't pay for his shit. Jeez, he bought all the hotels. <laughs> Chris provided the gas. I did. That was, that was enough. <laughs> Three miles. How many miles per gallon? Um, yes. yes, I averaged yes. about ten. I'm impressed. It, I mean, it's it did pretty terrible. good. Um, I mean, it's downhill from Washington all the way to here <laughs> anyway. So, <laughs> really. so I you've never airline, looked at a map, have bought you? Bought an airline just, ticket <laughs> to Seattle, flew from Houston to Seattle, uh, took an Uber, uh, took two Ubers. I had to get out of one because he was a liberal fuck. But um, Well, didn't you puke all over the side of his car or was that a different one? That was, a, uh, I'm getting to that point. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. That's Carrie Dick's fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, story. that was in Idaho. I'm getting there. So, um, <laughs> um, so, uh, so we go up, we meet the guy, super awesome guy. We get to, uh, uh, we get to talk about how he got the truck and all that stuff. He makes me a uh, uh, a toolkit, which is this is like this is the most interesting buying experience I've ever had buying a vehicle. And I bought a lot of trucks. Don't get me wrong. Like yeah, you bought like six or seven since you got back. I bought three this week. Okay, so I bought a lot of trucks. <laughs> um, oh, was was your wife not supposed to know about that? <laughs> So I bought a lot of trucks. <laughs> <laughs> we can now have six acres and 17,000 square feet to stick and it in. And it's almost full. Oh, um, and this is this is legitimately the, the coolest buy experience of a vehicle I've ever had. So the guy, he, he washes waxes a truck, which is kind of par for the course when you're buying something like that. Cummins. No, it's guys. I feel like Richard Rollins right now. If you own one of them things, throw the fucking thing away. <laughs> Did y'all see that video? Oh, yes. <laughs> um, that goes for all Cummins. I mean, just wow. Like, oh, so you're a Bronco? Yeah, pretty much. It's loud, obnoxious. He's only driven it like twice. I, why can't I finish my story? <laughs> I don't know. It hurting cats. I'm telling Seth you. Seth keeps interrupting you. I'll take the Bronco. You don't want to drive it? I'm sure. <laughs> okay. So boxwood green. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Washed and waxed. Yep. So that that's pretty par for the course. Washing and waxing a truck that you're you're buying or whatever, especially going across country, right? It's 27, 2,800 miles from home. Um, but he's uh, he's also put me together this uh, this quite interesting toolkit. It's got all kinds of like garage sale tools in it. Um, some zip, some zip ties, uh, some channel locks, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Big ass uh, hammer. Uh, in case you get pissed off and need to beat the <laughs> shit out of it. Yep. Okay, and, uh, and, and four Coors Banquet beers, just in case you need a road beer. <laughs> we loaded all the stuff up. I had a bunch of little extra stuff, uh, uh, spare tire mounts and all this other stuff. We get it all loaded and uh, go over the whole um, 
the whole paperwork thing. The truck's got all the paperwork. It's got the original owner's card. It's got the original warranty card. Has the original color chip sheet from the dealership. Has the original owner's manual. Has the entire receipt book from the 70s. Has the original registration from 71 in it. Like, it's really, really cool. Like, a lot of history with this truck. Um, and uh, it's for celebratory, uh, like, finalizing. I paid the guy and whatnot. Uh, we... Uh, we take uh, whiskey shots at nine o'clock in the morning. Um, <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> never, never done that before. Really good whiskey. It was really good whiskey. But um, was that out of the cup? Definitely, definitely in some celebratory shots, or just started drinking at nine in the morning. Can't yes, drink. can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. That's my line. I know because I don't drink. You'll so, have that on them big jobs. So we uh, we take a shot and then we just talking and BS and having a good time like. Decided to take another one. You know, <laughs> so we got two shots in by 9 o'clock, 9.30. <laughs> uh, that was pretty cool. Um, it made me feel at least a little better about the purchase, you know. Yeah, because you were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was not drunk on two shots. That was Idaho. So was that the questionable cup that you were Yeah, that was – uh, the, there were some – like those, you know, those big, tall styrofoam coffee cups. They definitely had like a brown stain in the inside of them. Don't know how old they were, but I know that he took his cup that had something in it went – and then poured him a shot in his cup. So, like, those other two cups definitely had stuff in them before we got there. They were definitely. seasoned. They seasoned. were definitely seasoned coffee cups. Wow. And I'm not sure you're supposed to season styrofoam cups like you are uh, regular coffee mugs. I don't think so. Especially not with whiskey. <sighs> well, I mean, whiskey just kills the germs. We'll, we'll go with that. If that makes you feel better. I think better. it was called Four Roses. Never had it before. It was good stuff, though. <laughs> it was it was good enough that, um, that this, Corey went and bought a bottle of it after we left. That's that's the stuff that uh, Sam Elliott take... drinks. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. It's good stuff, man. It, good it stuff. doesn't take much to convince Corey to go buy some alcohol. Mm-mm. That's not an untrue statement. Hey, Corey, I see the time a when we filled water guns with vodka and took them to a truck show. <laughs> we did that. Turns out it burns when you shoot people in the eye with it. <laughs> 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 Who would have thought? Yeah, it was great though. It was great. Yeah, those are stories were, we those are stories we're not going to tell on this. That's yeah, it was great because you weren't the one getting shot in the eye. No, I was the one doing the shooting. I mean anyway. Be a level up. Yeah. So <laughs> Zach Reinhardt was there. Huh? What? Yep. Again, we're not going to tell those stories on here. Um, so basically, uh, I wound up having to put tires on it. We didn't put tires on it before because I was just hoping that I didn't have to, but they were definitely from like 2007. So you could see the air in them legitimately. <laughs> Indian tires. Don't leave no tracks. No, they have plenty of tread. They just, you couldn't see, just could I wasn't going to drive it very far. I'll promise you that. Um, and then we just, you know, we did a couple of meetups along the way, um, met up with Brian Sutphin. Uh, he was nice enough to let me ship some stuff up to him, which, you know, me, uh, I should have shipped up tools and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. I shipped up an air compressor and jump box and caught it good. Just figured if it broke down, it would break down, whatever. Mm -hmm. What are you going to blame that on? That's an airplane. (laughs) Rich people problems. Wow. Um, does, it, does it have an LS in it? Dad going to lock it off. Um, but uh, so we had lunch uh, that day, and then uh, I drove down. Uh, I drove down the next day and met up with with Carrie Dick in Nampa, Idaho. I guess Nampa is how you pronounce it. Uh, just the uh, one of the outskirts towns of Boise, Boise. I think that's how you pronounce Boise. it. Boise, Boise, Boise. Um, where all the Californians are moving to, besides Texas. They're moving everywhere, but California. they're like roaches. They go everywhere. Oh boy! You went and called them roaches. The good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> infesting everywhere. Termites, <sighs> locusts. Locusts are pretty good. They I mean, eat everything that's uh, that's valuable, and then they move on. Yeah, that's, that's wow. Locusts wow. are pretty good. Am I wrong? Should we preface this that it's fine if they move there as long as they don't bring all their no, ideologies with fine. them? I like I told the lady in uh, in the store a while ago when I was buying the pizza. I I'm fully okay with anybody moving to Texas. Just remember to vote right. <laughs> Did you hear about the the lady who called the police on the people in Austin? Mm-hmm. Like, Toxic masculinity. Yeah, what? car show thing. Mm-hmm. It was a car they show. They had a car show. 
Yeah, they, it or was like a, a Saturday meetup every Saturday. It was a, it was like a cars and coffee, and it was uh, they were displaying their toxic masculinity. Um, so yeah, Carrie, uh, Carrie thought it'd be a good idea to take me and Corey um, to well, uh, what that, they call Indian Creek Steakhouse. I was gonna say that already started out a bad idea. Take you and Corey. Like, yeah, that that's one of the other like, scenarios. Unsupervised, unsupervised me and Corey to Indian Creek Steakhouse, and when we went in there, I told Corey, I said. This is gonna be a good time. We uh, we, we decided to uh, we decided to start having a few whiskey drinks. And uh, really, I remember now why I don't drink whiskey because mm. I, uh, I I don't it. I'm like good, and then I'm blackout drunk, I'm like zero to hero. Anyway, <laughs> I we, think the uh, graph goes the other way. Hmm? I think the graph no. goes the other no. way. No, <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it it definitely it goes, goes downhill. It, no, 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 it, it, it go it goes that direction. Especially if Corey's involved, is amazing. He, he turns up. <clears throat> I was uh yeah. So yeah. Corey turns up to hundred real fast. Which oh is yeah, not anything. Like, yeah, we won't talk about that story either. <laughs> There's so many stories. Mm -hmm. They all involve Corey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we decided we were gonna have a good time that night. Oh, um, and poor Carrie's wife, <laughs> she leaves us there. Oh she, no! Like we, she's like, I gotta go work in the morning. Y'all stay, have a good time. Oh, I didn't even know she went out with y'all. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, after about the third whiskey drink, and uh, Corey said, "Hey, Miss Ma'am," to the waitress. And she walked over there. Oh, no. I said, Corey, do not call that woman Stacy. Oh. <laughs> he said, hey, Stacy, come here. What? Never, <laughs> what? never, never. That's his thing. Well. When he doesn't know a girl's name, he calls her Stacy. Stacy. Oh. It's uh, why you could not pick a better name than Stacy. I have no idea because it. I have never, it, we've never run into a girl that like that was actually her name. It just yeah. always pisses her off. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Hooters Casino, three in the morning. <laughs> yes. Um. So we ask her, it, this is a Monday night, by the way. This mm. is not like Saturday mm. or Friday night. This is a Monday night. <laughs> um, and of course, said, what time does this place close? She was like, well, we uh, we stopped serving food at 10, but I don't know, whenever everybody leaves and, uh, it, you know, it stops being like feasible to, to keep, you know, stay here because people stop buying drinks. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> God. So Bring we me we uh we move to the bar once uh, once we get finished eating we move up to the bar and uh, uh convince several of the other uh fine patrons of the establishment to start drinking with us um mm. and then the bartenders mm. convince them to drink with us and then by the end of the night um Corey had uh commenced to uh given dance lessons. <laughs> To oh the bartenders, God. which they, I, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all right now, that place has never been that lit. I just don't think it has. I, you know that you could say maybe, maybe it has. I don't know, but them girls didn't know how to dance. Them girls were like, "What in the hell is going on here?" Of course, we were drunk, so you know, yeah, it was, was probably actually terrible. You just no, it was your imagination. That's what happens. No, you, they they went over and turned the radio up. That's what happens when you probably you because you all were yelling too much. Well, then why would they start dancing with uh, with Corey? I can't dance. I didn't dance. I had to get out there and step all over somebody. But they would not have been participating if they were having a bad time, and you know it. They just said, because I have been kicked out of a bunch of bars, they just said, get out. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably never you, do a, you ain't Texas, got to go home, but Texas you got to get the hell time. out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, they, they never had a good time like that. We threw a good time, and uh, they had some stories to tell, and I spent entirely too much money. Yeah, how um, much was that? You know, I don't know, but I do know that I bought a bottle of Maker's Mark, and it's a whole lot more expensive to buy one at a bar than it is at a, at a liquor store, because huh. you buy it by the shot. Ooh. <laughs> she said, uh, of course, uh, how much a bottle? Since Because we, we were buying a bunch of Maker's Mark shot or Maker's Mark, uh, like, uh Makers and Sevens. And uh, she was like, well, I've had a bunch of people ask, but I've never had uh, somebody buy one. And I was drunk enough by that point. I was like, here you go. I don't know, $250, I think, or something like that. Cheaper than that bottle of and, crown. And then I commenced time. to tell her that that ain't, I think what happened is she said, I've had a whole bunch of people that has asked, but every time I tell them the price, they don't do it. She said, it's $250. And I said, shit, that ain't nothing. I spent $1,600 on two bottles of crown one night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my. a different experience. <laughs> that was a Corey experience too. Well, that's the one where I was carrying oh. the bottle of crown out drinking in the taxi. So um, the, the, 
I'm really intrigued to the whole like you know everything's better in Texas kind of thing and you being is. in Idaho and like you say they've never had a party like they've that. Like I wonder like if it that. was the I, Texan I, they venue probably, that brought the party. Have. They probably have partied like that. No. It seems it's those, just, Corey's the, not even a Texan. Those, He's from Indiana. Those girls have never partied like that. That that uh those bartenders and waitresses, they stayed to watch the show because there was definitely a show. But it, we turned we turned a steakhouse into a dance club. Into an into a to a country bar. Um It's pretty cool. I I'm not gonna lie. Uh I uh I decided that I was gonna go over and turn the radio up in the uh, in the joint because the uh karaoke was over. And uh, they were playing some good Texas country music, which I, I was like, damn, y'all play Texas country up in here. And she was like, yeah, because the, re- uh, the regular stuff sucks. So I went over there and I started turning knobs until I figured out how the volume went up. Mm. Um, <laughs> That's how he does everything. This ain't going to work. And he's just pushing buttons and well, still smashing they had, they, I don't know. There was a panel mounted to the wall behind the hostess booth. And I just went over there behind the hostess booth. The place had been closed for two hours. It was midnight at this point. Like There was there was us drunk people and the people working there that were half drunk. And that was the only people in there. Who are from? Uh, well, he's from Indiana, but he, he's lived in Texas he, for 10 years. He does not claim Indiana. Mm-hmm. He's, so, see, your your comment a while ago is invalid now. I mean, technically it's not because he is technically not a Texan. When you move to Texas, you become Texan or you get out. You've like, that, like that bumper sticker says, I wasn't born a Texan, but I got here as fast as I could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Davy Crockett. Mm-hmm. Related to him. Are you? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's why you moved to Texas, probably. It's in your DNA. You may all go to hell. I'm going to Texas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was. Uh, they were they were definitely intrigued by us. Whether that was good or bad, don't know. But spent a lot of money there, so they can uh, kind of kiss it. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I think it's probably the other way around since they got all your money. Like, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't care if they didn't like me or not. They got my money, and I had a damn good time until I got in that damn Uber car. <laughs> that Alex, I got, I got that picture for you to go. Hey, yeah, hey. Alamo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was I was chance drunk. Hey, you know what? I missed getting to have breakfast with chance because I was hungover. Chance was in Twin Falls. I was supposed to have uh, breakfast with chance that next morning. Ain't that some crap? Go all the way to, go all the way to Idaho to hang out with somebody from Texas that lives 2 hours away. That lives 2 hours away and then misses them by 2 hours cuz you're drunk. Yeah, I woke up, I felt great and Corey was like, "Really? You feel fine? Like, do you remember last night?" I was like, Bits and, <laughs> Bits and pieces. Things and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then I started sobering up, I think, because uh, after after about 20 minutes or so, I felt really bad. And then we didn't leave Carrie's house till like noon. His wife probably thinks I'm a teetotal ass hat. I told Carrie, I said, I really just feel bad for your wife. Like you, eh. Like. I, he should have expected it. I, and he did. And his wife, I'm sure, expected it. But, um, yeah, I was, like, incoherently drunk. Like, that was a bad deal, like alcohol poisoning. Wish I wouldn't have done that because could have had a good time without getting that turned up. The common denominator in that equation is? Corey. The man wins a prize. <laughs> um, Which question? The, the question? <laughs> The question um, was, what what is what is Alamo? You keep saying, oh shit! So you uh, you obviously didn't watch the last podcast. No, I didn't. Where, we were, where no. like all forty of us were drunk in a room, and Seth thought it would be a good idea to try to podcast us all at the same time. Turns out, not a great idea. <laughs> I tried to warn him, and he did not listen. So our friend Chance decided to just turn, turn up. up. Like he pulled a me. His, he, he pulled somebody took the volume knob. And went. Whew. Is this the same chance that? Wait, that he missed in Twin Falls. Okay, missed in Twin Falls. Same chance. Bro. Yeah, he lives. So, he lives in Kilgore. No, no, he lives in Glade Water. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever met somebody from there, that's the way they talk. Just FYI. Wow, Jake Ferguson. Mm. Wow, Glade Water. Yeah. I'm from Glade Water. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. Hey, man, my name is Chance. You'll know who he's where he's from. <laughs> anyway, so wow. Chance Chance got real turned up in LST. Um, like he was, he was leaning on one of these light stands to hold himself up. And Chris yells out across the room and says, Chance, on a scale of one to 10, how drunk are you? And he went, he grabs the, he has a mic. He, gra- he has a mic. He grabs it and he looks at it and he goes, Alamo. 
<laughs> and stumbles off. And it just walks <laughs> off. Alamo. Alamo. Yeah, Alamo. I said, mm, about an Alamo. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> about an Alamo. So, uh, so then we've just uh, been run, a running joke that uh, that when you get real trashed, you pulled an Alamo. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> anyway, that's uh, that's why I keep saying that I pulled an Alamo because I pulled an Alamo. It was, it was bad. Well, they got you. They got turned up. I, yeah. appreci- I appreciate the the insight there. The history lesson. Yeah, yeah. I feel a lot better. Yeah. So um, we incorporated Texas history <laughs> and recent history. Oop. Oop. That's me. Really? Oh, is you, you have an alarm on going off? I do. For what? <laughs> My old man medicine I got to take at night. Oh, dang, it's already 8 o'clock. After well, 35. Shit happens. You get into smoking meat, World War II documentaries. And taking medicine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, after you turn 30, you get cancer. Kind of all just kind of goes downhill from there. It's been uphill since you moved to Texas. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was just about to say. Yep, yep, yep. Except for the little Lyme disease thing. Well, I mean... At least you didn't get... COVID. <laughs> Every true. time. Got the coronavirus with a side of lime. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the trip, we uh, we came down and uh, we went over to... to um, okay, so from Nampa, we went to, bon- to the Bonneville Salt Flats because I've always wanted to see Bonneville. Been to Salt Lake, I don't know, 10 times, something like that. Too many to not go to Bonneville. So I was like, screw it, go in there. Um, we went over there. That was really cool. Lots of salt. Really? <laughs> so was it flat? It was very, actually, it was, I can see how it would be very rough to try to go that fast on. But did, it you was try, did you try to go fast? No, it had water in it. It's like a really, really shallow lake. You could have still tried. Man, that would have been really good for your new truck. But yeah, it would have been really good for a 50-year-old truck that had <laughs> a real mean, high carbon steel on it. Anyway. I feel so, like everything he says I have, I'm going to have to cut out. Yeah, is this going to be a podcast with me in it? Yeah. Um, I'll be over here be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shot. laughs> right there. So, <laughs> so we went from Bonneville to Salt Lake City, stayed the night in Salt Lake City. Um, I guess I missed the part where we stopped in Twin Falls and, and uh, watch base jumpers. Well, uh, yeah. So the Snake River Canyon is Snake River Canyon. There you go. Is, uh, is in Twin Falls. And we stopped there for lunch. Well, when we went over to the canyon, um, there was three guys uh, that were base jumping from the bridge, which was really cool. Um, apparently, it's like a, just a thing thing there. Like people just base jump every day at this it, place. It's one of the only bridges in North America that you do not have to have a permit to base jump from. Hmm. Yeah. Is it so that's because why of the, it's not. There's no, res- there's no, no, it's definitely high. There's it no is, restrictions. Yeah, it's really high. So that's why you got a ton of people <clears throat> jumping from it. It's really cool too because it's like flat planes. Like just flat, 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 and then all of a sudden you come up, canyon, just mm-hmm. gigantic canyon, middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. It's 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 long. It's it's a it's a big canyon. Can you imagine the settlers back in the day? They they yeah. traveling all these days, oh, and they get there like, now what? Let's put it this way: the canyon is deep enough and wide enough that at the bottom by the bridge, there's a ranch and a golf course mm-hmm. at wow. the bottom of the canyon. At yeah. the bottom, the bottom of the canyon. Of the canyon. Wow. It's mm-hmm. really cool. That's really cool. So um, you base jump into the ranch? You base jump uh, to into the canyon on the other side of the bridge. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Evil Knievel jumped the Snake River Canyon. Mm-hmm. The mound's still there. Mm. That's kind of cool. A um, little bit of useless information. I yeah. love it. Seemed to be full of. Did you learn it there? I did. You're like, oh, what cool stuff has happened here before? No, that's a big plaque. There's a big plaque there. It says, Evil Knievel jumped in that mound to your right. That you can really, see this far cool. away. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, and then we went down to Bonneville, and then we went to Salt Lake. Um, got a lot of friends that live in Salt Lake. Um, kind of cool. A friend of ours, that, uh, well, a guy that actually used to work here, Cody, uh, he was actually in Salt Lake at the time, so I had to get, uh, get got to eat breakfast with him. Cody Traverse. Just, got just, to eat breakfast with him uh, in Salt Lake City. Just, just so we are clear, Cody Tavers lives in Jasper and was in Salt Lake mm-hmm. at the same time he was in Salt yeah. Lake. It's wild how that happens. Yeah. I went to Denver, Colorado, like the beginning of the year, and my cousin was there, just happenstance. Well, it's like I would have I would have got to eat breakfast with Chance in Twin Falls had I not been severely dehydrated and hungover. <laughs> so, like, Chance is in Gladewater, just up the yeah. road. You said it's it crazy. Wrong. 
Glade water. Glade water. Mm-hmm. Um, met up with Cody for breakfast. Um, hung out with him for about an hour or so, and then went over to Industrial Ejection. We've got a couple of friends that uh, that work there uh, that drive OBS trucks. Uh, Alec and Chase. They were on the last podcast from LST. They flew down for LST. I went and visited them. Figured they came to visit me. I'd go to visit them. Went in town. Went in Rome. Went in Salt Lake. Do as. What do you What do you do in Salt Lake? Not you go much. to industrial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then from there we went to Moab, which is definitely a place that I'm going back to. Yeah, that I kind of hate you for that. Incredible. Moab. That place is incredible. And I only got to spend like just a few hours there, but man, it's it's the, it's take, a different kind of cool though. You take the truck on some rad trails? No. He did not do that. Come no. on, man. I drove it down some rad highway. <laughs> Two label stripes on it. See, weren't you the one that when I was saying I wanted to go to Moab, you're like, yeah, I don't know, it just kinda like you no. know whatever. Wasn't me. You sure? Positive. Pretty sure. Positive. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely on my bucket list. Take the side by side out there. Yeah, it would be definitely fun. They're trying to have all off roading. I know. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, the like, whole the whole town is based around four wheeling and off roading. Yeah. But California's moving in. That and they're trying oh to get it. They're trying God. to get it out. That and just like everything else, one bad apple screws the whole thing. Yeah, but it's mostly California because bad apples have always been around. Again, yeah. locusts. Yeah, basically, this That's, several towns around Moab. There's several. Uh, all almost 100 percent of their revenue comes from people coming in to go wheeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so like way back in the day, they said, "Yeah, that's great. You know what? You can even drive your side by sides in town. Just obey the law. You know, a few laws, and you're good. Everything was great." And then now, all of a sudden, it's just too loud. It's ruining our lives. Our lives are just awful now because of these loud off-road vehicles like people there. buying uh, well, houses moved. next to drag strips exactly. and then being mad because the drag strips loud well no exactly. shit exactly or like people buying house house places next to feed lots and going it like, smells like cow it shit it stinks like Ooh. you move you move to moab and then you're like man wow yeah. this place is crawling with off-roaders and i can't sleep at night like yeah it's you, you knew that before you yeah, bought a place you, you don't know you don't move go to moab and not know that Right. I mean, people that don't off-road know that that's what Moab is. Yeah, it's dumb. Anyway, it was a beautiful place. Definitely not going to have to go back, spend some time, and take something that's four-wheel drive. It was really, really cool. It was yeah. a really cool place. Wasn't it Matt that took his? Yeah. Matt took his uh, uh, his 67 highway that he built. This It's got a uh, 428 in it and a yeah. uh, 5R. The white truck? Yeah. Yeah. 428 and a 5R in it. It's pretty rad to see that thing doing doing that stuff he built his own custom long arm kit for it and everything mm-hmm. like he dude's pretty amazing i wish i could have uh went by there while i was on the trip it just didn't work out um matt cubics it's for the people that are wondering who the hell matt is the yeah. guy that owns the world's quickest seven three something like that i don't we, know we the did mustang this the last seven time. three mustang There's something like the that seven three powered mustang that's i'm sure it's super fast elite power strokes what it is yeah, but i don't the, remember offhand the <clears throat> Um, P pump, yeah, seven three. He's the fast. Isn't he like the fastest seven three? And then Gray's is the fastest Huey fired seven three or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. yeah. I want to take a one of those new Ford Broncos to Moab. That'd be cool. When I get one, you get one. Let me know. We'll Are go you to Moab. One? I would love to get one. I either want one of those or a Jeep. <clears throat> But no Jeeps. No Jeeps. I kind of I mean, don't I just like want, I just want the Ford Bronco because it's Ford and it's a Bronco. Yeah, it's a Bronco. They're so. cool. Did you see what the Vin 1 Bronco sold for at uh, million Barrett Jackson? Yeah. 1.4 or something? Well, 1.7. 1.07. That was for charity. Mm-hmm. And that was Bronco Production 001 on the serial number. Yeah. It was the Vin, it was the Vin 1 Bronco. <laughs> Notice yeah. it was blue. What the... Two door, four door, two door. It's it's the it's the it's Bronco. The, it's, it's not the Bronco. Bronco. That's, it's, it's not, not the sport, sport that everybody keeps seeing. Yeah, yeah. But, so yeah. many people are so screwed up on that. They're like, man, this Bronco is not really like, until you see the until you see the the, new, the actual Bronco. Yeah. Coming I, out. I've got a line drawing of the new Bronco versus a '66, a first gen Bronco, and like they're literally like millimeters difference in size all the way around. Like that's crazy. once you once you yeah. actually see them, like they. 
they have two line drawings of each laid over the top of each other so you can see the differences. That's cool. There's hardly anything different about them other than all the modern features, obviously. The one thing I do wish is that they would have a, like the only manual transmission they have is like the smallest engine, like the 2.2.0 yeah, Eco. The automatic is yeah. going to be way more user-friendly and, and way more capable than a manual ever would be. Yeah, and like don't discount that, just so that that uh, Eco boost. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's Especially the four-cylinder four one, though. It's not, if it was like the... A little bit bigger one that's six cylinder, maybe. I'd love to have one. Twin I think they'd be pretty awesome to have. They're going to be really, really cool platform for sure. There's going to be a lot of aftermarket for it. They are going to kick Jeep's ass. You saw well, that was the funny thing. You started talking about Moab. There's like the the Rubicon Trail or whatever. You saw they took the Bronco to the Rubicon Trail and like did in everything. stock form and did everything. Did yeah. everything the Jeep did and more. So well, they uh, cool. King of the Hammers. Tunnel. Anybody in here? Well, anyways, they uh, they had a they had a stock production Bronco out at King of the Hammers, and they had a fully tricked out Ultra Four truck that was to look like the Bronco. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. that thing was sick. Well, the Ultra Four truck they took to Baja too mm -hmm. last, mm -hmm. not last year, but year before last. Like yeah, when they were supposed like, to release the Bronco. Exactly. Yeah, Twenty nineteen, yeah. they took it out to. To Ultra Four, they were supposed to release it right after that, and then COVID hit, and they were like, "Ooh, pump brakes!" Yep. Yeah, hold it. Mm -hmm. And now they can't produce them fast enough. Yeah, they're um, like they're like completely sold out for like the next two years. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, so yeah, we uh, we left we left Moab and uh, went through Southern Colorado through Durango, and then to Pagosa Springs and over Wolf Creek Pass. Um, which had just got snow, and that was a little sketchy in a 15-year-old truck that was two-wheel drive <laughs> at 11,000 feet. Um, put, 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 yeah, put, put. your carbureted stuff doesn't like that high altitude when it's not jetted for it. We made it over it, though, so, uh, and then we stayed in South Fork that night, which is like kind of my all-time favorite place, um, just because I've been going forever, and it's just like a place that I like to go. You Shameless know? plug, River Bend Resort, Colorado. <laughs> it actually sits right on the Rio Grande River, uh, which is kind of cool. It's right, it's right up from the headwaters of the Rio Grande. They actually have like, was it a quarter of a mile river access or something mm -hmm. like that? It's pretty cool. Also, as seen in Vegas, not Vegas vacation, but uh, uh, National Lampoon's family vacation. Family vacation. So Camp Comfort in National Lampoon's family vacation. That was Riverbend. Yeah, that's they used we're... Riverbend to. Uh, uh, for the video, for the shoot for that movie. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Um, they still got the bell and everything in there. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It's this is a, it's a small little place, but it's uh it's it's awesome. And Travis and Tana that own the place are, are awesome. So we stayed. I, I I made a point to go to South Fork. Like I could have dropped down into New Mexico. I could have gone up like seventy through Grand Junction and across. It would have been faster. But I wanted to go that way because I want to stay yeah. at South Fork. Uh, we stayed there that night and then. I was going to go over to Walsenburg and go down like through Raton Pass and uh, into uh, Amarillo. And Corey was like, you've been showing me all these cool places. I, I feel like I, I need to show you somewhere that's uh, that's a cool place. You ever been to Red River, New Mexico? I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> so uh, in a way they went. We figured out that it was only two hours from South Fork, which is kind of cool. And we figured out that you can actually ride uh, side by sides from Red River to South Fork. Really? Which is kind of cool. I'm going to have to do that. Yeah, yeah that's that would that, be really cool. That's that trail that goes over through Summitville and all that. Mm -hmm. I learned about that this summer. So, um, so what we did is uh, we went up through Alamosa to a town called Fort Garland. And then you take, you go straight down from Fort Garland. Uh, in the Red River, um, that is actually a really, really pretty drive. That's not that far from here, really. Like the the Red the River grand, area in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, yeah. Well, in Texas miles, you're talking New Mexico. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was like. Twelve hours from here. Yeah, something like that. Which is in the grand scheme of things <laughs> to get into pretty mountains. That's not that far. That's. Uh, I mean, most just, of that's in Texas. I was gonna say that Almost for everybody that, in Texas. that uh, needs to know this, it's ten hours in Texas and two in New Mexico. Yes. Yeah, being from the Midwest and moving down here. I like, said Texas miles. Oof. Like, <laughs> hey, we're going to go to the grocery store <laughs> that's not a small Walmart. Hey, that's two hours. <laughs> what? What do you mean it's two hours? That's only just a, that's a quick drive. That's like yeah. going to the No BS OBS show and everybody's like, golly, 
it's 45 minutes to drive over there. I'm like, and? Like, it's 45 minutes to drive to town. Yeah, like, it takes 45. You, you, it takes me 45 minutes to drive to go hook up a trailer to go someplace. Think about the No BS OBS uh, event uh, mm-hmm. uh, and shameless plugs. Yep. Um, I'll be there. <laughs> Devin, Devin told me the other day that we really need to hype it up because if uh, it didn't grow again this year, he was not going to have it next year. Oh, wow. goodness. Wow. Poor Devin. He is so moody. It's like a woman. No BS wow. OBS? Yep. Where is this at? Oregon. Oregon. Albany, Oregon. Uh, it's the largest OBS or older Ford truck show, I would say, in the world. Like, there like was, only those trucks. And yeah. He's going to shut it down. Uh, who knows? He says grow. that now, but he knows he won't. He just likes to talk trash. <laughs> um, it uh, It's basically 97 and older stuff. Mostly what shows up is 80 to 97 stuff. Mm-hmm. That that <clears throat> style. How many trucks were there last year? Uh, 165. Yeah. Something, Something like, like that. that. Second year, 165 trucks. That's Pretty impressive, considering it's 165 older Ford trucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, like nice. Trucks. They were. They're all well, really nice trucks. I mean, you've got the whole gamut. You've got the guy that's that's got the work truck all the way to the full built nice truck. So you've got everything in between. Daily mm-hmm. drivers, and then you got our garbage. Uh, well, and there was like, um, uh, there were some off road vehicles like Broncos and stuff there that were you know beat fenders and you know. Uh, rattle can paint jobs but they you know got their purpose so there's kind of everything that's at that show it, it's a really cool show and it's and it's cool to see like um like we see the trucks that are in this area all the time like kind of how they are it, the trucks are regional like the northeast has a certain style of truck how they <laughs> how they um <laughs> do their trucks and the northwest has a certain style of how they do their trucks like we do so it's kind of cool to see that mm-hmm. and it's a uh, it's a it's a it's a pretty dead gum big event. Um, I know that they're uh, they're ramping it up this year. Apparently, they got like Fox on on board. Really? Not Fox. Um, fuel Fuel Wheels on board, and uh, quite a few other uh, uh, other vendors besides us and Sky and uh, Carrick and Carrick. But um, we'll see how it goes. Hoping it's going to be bigger. That Maybe way, I can go this year. That way, uh, we, if we can get somebody hired. Rustin. Rustin. Oh, are you trying to talk about me? Yeah, we're trying to. Yeah, now, see, we can talk about Rustin and hiring Rustin. Yeah. So it's like a poll. So tonight we hired Rustin. He starts next week. Yep. Just, just everybody look at his face it's so that true. we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we I mean, if you say it, it enough, if you say it enough times, then it, it becomes just becomes true. true. Zero. Did you? It's kind of like. Did you the, take that out of Bill Clinton's book? No. Oh. Well, it's, it's kind of like. Genders. If you say there's more than two enough times, it kind of <laughs> no, that that will never be true. <laughs> <laughs> At least one person's book in this room. <sighs> Zero dollars an hour currently. Zero, Zero dollars. An hour. Well, oh, I mean, I don't know what's pizza worth these days. <laughs> well, that's true. Five hundred bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> it is no longer worth five hundred bitcoin. I mean, or you just got majorly screwed. <laughs> right. That's man. How much? Five hundred bitcoin. At sixty thousand a piece. Add seven zeros. I can see the smoke. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seth okay. trying to calculate in his head. <laughs> no, that's why I have a computer. It's no, like, you actually like, don't have see, a computer. You right shut now, your face. Huh? <laughs> like three million. Because it smoked. Six times five is thirty, and then you add five zeros to it. Hold on, what, what, what were you doing? 500 times 60. 500, 500 times 60,000. No, 25 million. No. I bid 50,000, but that's. Oh, uh, 60,000 is kind of a stretch. Bitcoin's not at 60,000. Do 60,000, see if I ain't right. <laughs> okay, well, if, we you know you ain't 10, right. if you add 10,000 to that, you're, yes. 30,000. What? If you add ten thousand dollars to million. the total, thirty million, thirty thousand and thousand, thirty thousand thousand. My uh, God, my, maybe my, we don't want to hire him. Yeah. My brain hurts. <laughs> Mine too. Anyway, so I made it all the way, all the way home, with only having to use one zip tie. That's pretty good. Yeah, the throttle us. linkage, the cutter pin, and the throttle linkage on the uh, at the carburetor fell out. And uh, the throttle linkage fell off the carburetor in Lufkin. 
an hour from here. So I'm gonna pull over on the side of the road and zip tie it back on and it's still zip tied at this very moment. Thank goodness for throttle return springs. Yes. <laughs> what? There's a reason they're on there. Yes. What, what do you do in the case that the throttle return spring just malfunctioned as well? Uh, you turn it off real fast. Turn the key off. And, and then coast. Tear up how much? Well, that doesn't tear up anything, but if you don't... If you don't turn it off pretty quick, it, uh, it would tear up a bunch of stuff. Depends on if you're in uh middle of heavy traffic downtown Dallas or not. <laughs> well, I mean, just as far as like the truck's in gear and then you just kill it. Oh, there's, there's no nothing. Roll. It is it, it'll it'll roll. It is yeah. Coast. yeah. Okay. You, I didn't your, know if it your like, cars never broke down like before. Locked up. No. Well, I your mean, cars never broke down before. Technically, you no. would have to. If it was an automatic, you'd have to flip it in a neutral. No, that's I mean, what I was thinking. You if you could tear anything up, it would just probably stay, it would go. It would stall. Yeah. The transmission. No, it, it coasts. It would coast to a stop. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. The, the converter. It's just like in. letting off. Yeah, the, gas. The, the converter wouldn't lock. Oh, well, it wouldn't stay locked. I wouldn't think. No. Nope. Especially with an all, Ask me, all I know. mechanical transmission. Yeah. I've never had a V8 S10 with throttle return spring fall off of it or anything. That's a Chevrolet product for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's called a backyard hack. Put the truck together and I bought it. And Go and grab it and see what Ain't happens. Ain't that how here. they build the Chevrolets? Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that was a pretty good deal. I think it was like right at 2,800 miles and I only had to use one zip tie. That's pretty cool. And none of the beers. And none of the beers. <laughs> for emergency uses. I didn't for drink emergency. the beers. But not for emergency <laughs> uses. Yeah, you uh, you made up for it. I didn't make up for it. Poor Carrie's wife. Well, that's an awesome You should trip. send that lady flowers. I should. <laughs> I'm sorry. My condolences. <laughs> you had to put up with for me. For your sheets and your floor mats and your... Oh, my gosh. Uh, and your door mats and, and your, your bathroom, bathroom. and... I threw it in my boot too. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> you puked. So what? What about the Uber dude? Like, was he? We sprayed his car off. It was good. I threw a pot on the side of it. Oh my gosh! That's like you what? Time. Yeah, all down the side of so it. So like that inside of it? No, nope, just down the side. No, there's of it. a okay. wonderful picture of him puking Alamo, the Alamoing away. Yeah, I was definitely pulling an Alamo. <laughs> that, that sounds like that time that we had to go to the funeral home and wash your truck off with Corey. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, there was no car washes open. All Corey's. these stories include Corey. <laughs> yes. Every one of them. That's Every the, one of that's them. That's the time he rode his crotch rocket all the way to Kentucky. Yeah, he rode an R1 from Texas to Kentucky in the rain, both directions, to a to an event. <laughs> You're kidding. No, <laughs> sir. Mm -mm. Holy. Yeah, he was like, I'm going, and I don't have the fuel money to get there in a pickup. So he rode, a, he rode his bike. Oh, my gosh. He was sore. Show sure did. He was a lot younger than he is now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a that was a good time. Yeah. So Corey's brother came down, and uh, that wasn't the same time. That was a different time because he rode back with us because that was the time that he had the bear with him. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a <laughs> we had a stuffed bear. I mean, it's a it's a whole story, but uh, we don't got time for that. Like a legit bear. Uh, it was a, it was a legit. It bear was. Shot. It was taxidermy. It was. <laughs> oh, we had bear drinking too. Bear. Yeah, it was it was legit bear, and yeah. Then, yeah uh, anyway, <laughs> it wasn't like 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 a teddy bear. Like it was. It like, was like a legit bear. Yeah. Like <laughs> how a big? Bear. Like a full uh, grown bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A full grown bear. <laughs> full grown bear. It full wasn't. Grown. A, it was a. I like how he didn't say full grown. He said full grown. <laughs> it, it, it was <laughs> tell me you're. Tell me you're from Texas without telling me you're from <laughs> it Texas. Was a full grown bear. <laughs> yeah, full grown. <laughs> in the back. <laughs> we did that a while ago when we said Alamo. Right. Alamo. Anyway, so um, the, the time that Corey's brother came down, uh, Corey's brother decided that uh, that he said he could drink with all of us oh, and we gosh. told him he couldn't. Mm -hmm. That's never... Nope. nope you know, nope, nope. Watch Your Face did that too. That didn't work out for her either. Rihanna. 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 Whoa. Hi. Rihanna. You better do that right. Rihanna. Hi. Rihanna. Anyway. Andrew's wife. Yeah. Mrs. Morgan Wallen. <laughs> anyway, I wish I knew a lot more of these people. You well, should have came. Well, you should have been working for us. us. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Where was this at? At LST. Yeah, uh, Conroe. Conroe. Yeah. <clears throat> we had a space for you. We we pay people. Anyway, yeah. so um, so uh, he Old could not beer. drink with us. In fact, he could not even come close, and he wound up puking all down the side of my truck. And I was like, 
That's going to come off my paint because that's got a lot of acid in it and I'm not having my paint all etched because some jackass can't drink. Um, so we went looking for a, it's just like three in the morning. We went looking for a, an open car wash and <laughs> apparently Bowling Green, Kentucky rolls, uh, rolls the sidewalks up at 10 o'clock. It's like worse than Jasper, Texas. Yeah. I mean, it's like a 40,000 person town and yeah. there ain't shit open after like nine o'clock. So we find this funeral home. Oh, it has, has a garden wand out front. It's still hooked up. Do we pull? So we in there. Corey gets out. He's washing the side of the truck off. So I lean out and take a picture of him uh, with you know, with Dustin's head hanging out the window, and uh, and Corey smiling with a beer in his hand, and the uh, and the hearse in the background washing the side of the truck <laughs> oh, off. God, it was yeah. great. It's great. The time where he rode the R one was a different time. Cause it rained. That was the time that uh, yeah. that, that Zach Reinhardt came and he was testing out the tension on the windshield wipers. <laughs> yeah, Dude, he got so drunk he was standing over at the truck picking the windshield wipers up, putting them down, picking them up, putting them down. <laughs> like Zach, what are you doing? Testing the 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 tension on the windshield wipers, man. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, D- Dustin is Corey's brother. 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 Young, brother. Younger guy? Yeah. Yeah, younger brother. I don't know if it's the little brother, but his younger brother. <laughs> yeah. He decided he was going to get a fight with Ryan Milliken <laughs> over ice. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, <laughs> yeah. He that was smushed fun. my face, and he shouldn't smush my face. That was Ryan fun. was like, it's cool, man. I like to fight. <laughs> I ain't got to fight in a while. I like to fight. Let's do it again. Yeah. Like, she was like, I ain't even mad. I just want to. I, I just want to finish it. Like mm-hmm. I just actually wanted to get in a fight. <laughs> like y'all two drunk assholes, stop. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a good time, man. It was a good time. It was a good time. And that yeah. is why your boy don't drink. Same. Because I, probably I mean, somebody's got to operate the camera equipment. I'd probably be a Dustin. <laughs> Can't hang. Well, I mean, you got to build that tolerance up. You know, the thing that we've always said, you know, if I drank, would I walk straight? Yeah, you might actually walk right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we have got to try this theory out, and we haven't got a chance Man, to yet. I, I don't know. I, something just There's something out there that tells me that's not going to work. I mean, well, how do you know until you try I'm, I mean, I'm not going to be the guy. The walk is just even more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it would be like half half a drink in, be like, just <laughs> straight to the ground. <laughs> just not even attempt it, just crawl. Seth would be looking like the dog on uh, Family Guy. <laughs> I mean, you, but you see yourself just starting to fall off, but you're trying to catch yourself, but you can't get your legs to move to get. Yeah, I've been there before. Let's uh, let's, a couple times. Let's try this out just for the video sake. Wow, what the heck, I'm, man? I'm not intelligent enough to uh, to stop doing it. Like I know that like that's what happens, and I just yeah, we just try it for Peer different results. Pressure is a bit. Yeah, every every LST Saturday morning. You you look like rough. you look rough. like you're Seth, dead. Seth right. is feeling 100, percent and you guys are. Seth no. is not feeling 100 percent because no, he's been he to stay, he to stay, uh <laughs> See, dad, dad always goes. Oh, and man. dad doesn't drink. Never has been a drinker. So him and dad crash in a room. Uh, that way they can like just shut the door and you know yeah. all the loud is on the other end of the house. Yeah, the, the, well, all that, the loud is just everywhere. Just so you know, it's never. That, it's uh, that did not happen it's this year because dad didn't go, so he got to crash with chance. Chance pissed on the floor in the middle of the night. <laughs> Chance, Chance that got was the worst idea yeah, I've ever had Chance in my life. Chance got up in the middle of the night and decided instead of going to the bathroom in the bathroom, he would just piss on the floor. He thought he was camping. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're in a mansion. Like, what, what I do is I get on Airbnb and I just find, and now they're probably not going to allow me to, uh, to have an Airbnb account anymore because they know what we do, but I just find the biggest house I can rent and rent it. It's like, Three four thousand dollars for the weekend, but what we do is like everybody that stays there pitches, pitches in. in yeah. So it's like a hundred bucks for the weekend to stay at a badass house. And nobody has to drive. So if everybody's gonna drink, let's all be in one place. That way, nobody has to drive. So you know, being responsible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're responsible OBS owners. And then now you paying carpet fees. Nope, tile, nope, tile floors. <laughs> okay, well that was good. good. We think ahead. Yeah, pretty sure he peed on the bed, but whatever. There was there was also no water in the pool, so we couldn't drown. So we were good there too. <laughs> there's no pool. <laughs> Chance come back and said, "There's no pool." <laughs> and I was like, "What?" He was like, "There's no water in the pool, so that means there's no pool. It's just a hole in the ground." 
<laughs> and then he walked off. And then he went and peed in front of the ring doorbell like eight times. <laughs> oh my god! Could you? Oh, lady probably liked that though, so she didn't actually say anything. <laughs> the next morning, uh, wow. what was it Dylan went out there. Somebody went outside, and it was apparently he would he'd get finished with a beer, and he'd go out to pee, and he'd set his can down outside. So it's like just a whole bunch of can, oh empty beer God. cans outside. I didn't know that. It was part. Great, oh, that was great. Man. The ring pissing in the ring doorbell. So, yeah. so apparently, <laughs> apparently, uh, Chance uh, uh -oh. was hiding from uh, trying to hide from Casey, his wife, which was also there. And uh, like he was standing up against the wall like this. <laughs> <laughs> so so she, she was like, "What? What are you doing?" He was like, "I'm hiding." <laughs> and just stand up against the wall, like down like, the hallway. He like just a wall like the that, wall. like yeah. a white wall. Yeah, like stand up against the wall. Trying to hide. It was great. He's, great. He's trying to hold himself up with these little tripod lights that. Can he did lean on Seth one time, and I was like, are, "Who said? Who said something oh, about Dylan. Dylan?" Dylan was like, "Are you really leaning on the cripple guy right now?" <laughs> like you're so drunk <laughs> that this is a better option for you. <laughs> it, that came after uh, Seth threatened to whip his ass for leaning on the lights. <laughs> Seth is like, "If you lean on the light one more time, I'm gonna take it and beat you with it." <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Anyways, you know, good times. it was good though. It was good. Everybody makes an ass hat out of their self every now and then. So this is when y'all should turn the podcast into a vlog. It was Whatever a vlog. That means. A vlog. That means Seth walks around with the camera and the camera becomes Seth's eyeballs and oh, captures gosh. everything. You don't want all that. So you go around like this. <laughs> The very first, the, like, the, like the third video we shot like that, somebody's like, why does the cameraman look like a horse? True story. <laughs> did somebody ever tell him somebody what was going on? Or did that? we just let that go? I, I think we just let it go. go. That would have been, been worth it. That would have been fucked up, but whatever. Someone legit said that. Oh, yeah, someone yeah. said that. Yeah, someone, what? The camera, camera guy is a horse. <laughs> like, Your video is stupid. It's like, it got the most don't watch views, it. though. Yeah. Still got the most views. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and well, we did some dumb. This is why you need to hire hat. somebody who can vlog that isn't crippled. Well, we're trying to, ass hat. <laughs> <laughs> you just set yourself up. <laughs> was that? Uh, that was a commitment. Uh, uh, yeah, was that a. Um, um, are you he, he sure got quiet right there. there. I'm not really sure what that was. Like, like, <laughs> like it came out of his mouth and then he was like, uh-oh. Oh, yeah. uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh We're trying to, at this very moment. If I could rope, I would just. And I would, I will double your pay that you're already getting paid right here. Which is you know, double zero is still zero, but. Ah, right, you have to buy two pizzas. <clears throat> Whatever. I can do so that. that's, uh, that's good. $30. Yeah. Yeah. Two pizzas, $15 a piece. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, we even splurged to get Papa John pizzas. I know. I mean, I you could have went to Hot Reddy's, man. Little Caesars. I mean, <laughs> we splurged. We go above. And Did beyond. we even talk about OBS trucks in this whole podcast? I literally no. was going to say that. All I was like, after the we OBS, talked OBS. about the whole, the we whole, talk about the OBS. We'll we'll talk about OBSs in the next. Show. We talked about bump sides, which <laughs> yeah. you know we eventually are going to go retroactive and get into older trucks, so that counts. And put we're Tesla. we're ingraining in our customer base right now. Hey um, guys, the older <laughs> that the, was kind of creepy. Older trucks. <laughs> That's when you put one of those effects on there, like you just conjuring yeah. up some <laughs> yeah. where the the like screen gets all wavy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, over nine thousand. <laughs> anyway, anyways, so um, all the Dr Pepper advertising. Yep, I think Man. we're about at the end of the podcast. I I, I'm so. feeling it. Yeah, I think everybody's feeling. I think it. the pizza's kicking in, hitting mm -hmm. bottom. All right, doing something. So uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe on them worldwide internets. <laughs> Maybe this time we'll keep back on schedule. Yes. So that's the plan, uh, anyway. <clears throat> especially if we can get um, uh, somebody else to help with the filming and the editing and stuff. If we have if we have a second person on staff, we don't have to worry about them having time to be able to do it, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, the last time we had to skip out because our other camera guy couldn't be here. Yeah, I know. Cheesecake. Look, 